Ratios and proportions are important concepts you'll need for the Praxis Core math exam. This quick video will review definitions and examples to help you study. First, let's define a ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers. This can be expressed in three different ways. Written out, a to b with a colon, a colon b, or most commonly with a fraction, a over b. The following problem will demonstrate how to create a ratio from a scenario. A company employs 50 people, 20 of whom are women. What is the ratio of women to men working at the company? The most important thing to note is what order the ratio is written in the problem, women to men. If we don't follow that order, we will get a backwards answer. The problem tells us how many women there are, 20. Assuming that every person who is not a woman is a man, we can subtract 20 women from the total. 50 minus 20 is 30. The ratio is now 20 women to 30 men. However, this will not be an answer choice. When writing ratios, we have to simplify. It's the exact same process as simplifying a fraction. 20 over 30. The greatest common factor between 20 and 30 is 10. Divide both the top and the bottom by 10 to get the final answer of two over three. This is the ratio of men and women. Women to men is what we should say. Next, let's define a proportion. A proportion is an equality of two ratios. It's essentially another layer of ratios. Let's take a look at this problem. The class project calls for two sheets of paper for five students. If your class has 25 students, how many sheets of paper do you need? As you can see, the problem gives a ratio, two sheets over five students. They give a proportion of the second ratio, the number of students, but we don't have the number of sheets. We will have to use X as a placeholder and solve for X. Because these proportions are a part of the same scenario and are gonna stay within the same ratio, we can set them equal to each other. This can be solved algebraically. Rather than using the complicated order of algebra, we can cross multiply to save time. 25 times two is 50. five times x is five x. We can set these equal to each other and solve algebraically from here. Divide both sides by five in order to isolate x. And when x is isolated, we have 10. x equals 10, the number of sheets needed for a class of 25 students. Now, let's look at a ratio and proportion problem that you may encounter on the exam. Your grade level has bus riders and parent pickup students. The ratio of the number of bus riders to the number of parent pickup students is five to 11. If there are a total of 80 students in your grade level, how many of them are bus riders? Our given ratio is bus riders to parent pickup. B to P, five to 11. The problem is only asking about bus riders, so let's figure out what percentage of students are bus riders. Out of 16 students, five of them are bus riders. We can rewrite this as five over 16. Now, once we have five over 16, we can set this to a proportion with 80 to determine how many bus riders would be found in this big of a group. We'll set our equal sign and write 80 here. 
since we're trying to find the number of bus riders, we'll have to use X to solve. Now we can cross multiply like we did last time. 80 times five when typed in the calculator is 400. Then 16 times X is 16 X. Now I can solve algebraically. To isolate X, I need to divide, divide both sides by 16. That leaves X by itself. And 400 divided by 16 when typed in the calculator is 25. In a grade level with 80 students, we can expect 25 students to be bus riders.